a lot of times the reason why culture starts to go off in the wrong direction is because you are tolerating certain behaviors that you previously were not tolerating. So it used to be, okay, you know, unacceptable for people to not show up on time to your morning huddle. But now as the organization's grown, sometimes people roll in, you know, three minutes late or five minutes late or 10 minutes late, maybe only on Tuesdays or maybe on Fridays or whatever. But before you know it, that standard no longer exists. And I'm just giving an example. So as those start to erode, that also starts to change. And you know how it happened. Well, we just hired somebody that just so happened to be able to kind of show up a little bit late and then another person did and then another person did, but they were never checked, right? So now, you know, the organization as a whole sees it as acceptable to show up whenever you want. So a lot of times the culture erodes because of who you hire and then the culture also erodes because of who you don't fire. So meaning that if you want to preserve your culture, a lot of times initially it's because of your values, it's because of your standards, but as an organization grows, a lot of times the reason why a culture is strong and aligned versus a culture that's not strong and not aligned comes down to how you hire and how you fire. So if you are not making those right hiring decisions or especially the firing decisions, because you want to really maintain culture, you show me who are you firing. Because if you're tolerating things and you're keeping people way past kind of their, you know, their expiration date, before you know it, you start to see standards erode and then the culture erodes. And uh, it's funny, I had this conversation with somebody the other day. We were talking about it and they're like, how do we maintain a level of savagery uh, across this particular team in this department? And I said, look, if you think about, let's say, professional sports, you walk into the locker room, let's say, at the University of Alabama, and let's say you come in and say, oh, man, do we really have to practice this hard? They look at you like you had horns on your head. Or they're like, man, do you, you know, can we just take a day off today? Or can we just take a break? That kind of mentality would get pushed out real quick. But the problem is that organizations across the country, if that type of mentality comes into your organization and before you know it, they start to say, hey, you know what? Maybe they're right. And then another one comes in and says, maybe they're right. Maybe we should take it easy. Maybe we should serve pizza. Maybe we should have beer on tap. Everyone do whatever the hell they want, whatever they want, wherever they want. Let's just let them do that. No checks and balances, no accountability, no targets. I don't like accountability. It makes me uncomfortable. Okay, before you know it, you start appeasing that. And guess what? Your organization goes from elite to mediocre to bottom of the barrel. How did that happen? It's because you started to tolerate those types of like those types of individuals, those types of mindsets. You have to set the tone. You have to set the standard. So the reason why you see it at like professional sports teams, why people kind of come in and become aligned immediately is because if somebody comes in and says, oh man, is it always like this? They turn to you and say, yep. And that's why we're the best. And you say, okay. I understand. This is how it is then.